Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtutoy's channel. Okay, in front of me, I have latest release for Mini GT and Kaido House. Uh, I would guess that this is actually the last arrival for April. And uh, some of these are actually uh, delayed, what, December and some even earlier than that, I think, if I recall correctly. Um, but as long as they're here, I'm happy, okay? So let's get straight to it. This will be their first uh, Kaido House, first uh, figure set, okay, Kaido and Kaido Sons. All right, this is the uh, packaging, uh, pretty straightforward. And uh, one thing I want to point out, it's uh, die cast metal. So this will be, should be similar to the previous uh, Mini GT uh, release for the camel figures, okay? So something to, 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 to definitely to look out for. Then the Fair Lady, all right, this will be release number 35. Okay, Fair Lady Z Motil, and then the Wagon fire, uh, Kaido Fire Department. Okay, this will be number 20. All right, and then I have the two chase uh, with me as well. We'll we'll take a look at that and compare. And um, and then uh, the from Mini GT will be BMW M4 competition, the Sao San Paulo yellow, number 468. And then this, this is one of the uh, one of the other cars that I've been waiting for quite a long time. Okay, so finally it's here, number 347, okay, BMW M4 GD3, 2021 presentation, okay, and then the uh, 911 Targa 4S Heritage Design Edition. So Heritage uh, Design, I think this would be the second one. The first one is actually the, actually the Cherry Red, and um, the, other, the other Targa would be in blue, which is um, so-called the regular design, not the Heritage Design. And then Land Rover Defender 90 Pickup in bronze green okay so i'll be i i, I definitely want to see what this bronze green look like okay all right so these are uh the rivals and uh you know what let's get straight to it we're going to check out the this one first this guy the wagon number 20 okay quite a low number actually for i yeah so that's the thing i can't recall they're at number what now, but definitely not just 20. Since this guy is already, the, the fair lady is already at number, number what, 35. Okay, underneath this seal. Okay, I just want to quickly get it out. In the meantime, help me to hit the like button, okay, because that will help me out with the YouTube algorithms. Okay, so I do quite like this box. This would be another new um, box design. So the first, the first, uh, design from Kaido House would be the car appearing on the box. The second design would be the outline, okay, of the cars, uh, of appearing on the box without a cover. And this time, there's no sign of the car at all, okay, on the box. All right, nice. Look at that. This this is actually another wagon that I was kind of looking forward to as well, because of uh, well, generally that red. The red is really. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! This red is something else. Very nice. Very nice red. Okay, four spoke, uh, rims. Very deep dish at the back. Two doors. Kaido, uh, two doors wagon. Not the four door. So, in real life, there's no two door version. So Kaido House decide to do this uh, fantasy version. Uh, what? could have been what if a 510 wagon is two door okay pretty cool actually pretty cool pretty cool let's open up the engine let's pop up the oh very clean engine bay very nice nissan logo in there as well very sharp very clean engine bay actually very nice okay a bit of roll cage going on in there uh door panel is in white this time you can see the steering wheel detail it's nice Okay, the yeah the door panel, the side panels, and the back uh, bay. Yeah, can I call it bay? All right, it's in white. Okay, the seats are in black. Okay, so this would be the regular regular version. I'm gonna park it there. While we zoom out, and we'll check out the chase version as well. I've already got it out. Let's see what's the difference with the chase. So first thing you can see is the rim uh, is different. And uh, I am wondering, is that the only difference? Okay, interior-wise, everything looks very similar. 
Interior wise, I th think I can say they are the same. Okay, side mirror is the same. Detail paint, that's the same. Let's see. Okay, pretty much the same at the back as well. The plates are the same, 118. What else? So only the rims? Is it only the rims? We're gonna open up the engine bay. We're gonna check it out. Okay, so yeah, they pretty much looks identical. So yeah, I think the only difference is the rims. A variant rim as a chase. That's actually quite a nice combination actually. Red with the uh, dark gold color. Okay, so that's the chase. All right, that's the chase. Okay. Put it to the back and then we'll check out the regular fair lady so this would be number um 35. Hang on. hang on yeah i usually peel everything off actually i'm just gonna peel everything off feels more fun doing that right <laughs> okay i do have extras a couple extras of these available through collectors cube um they're on facebook instagram and tiktok they have their own website as well and they ship worldwide all right so you can shop uh, with them, they're basically a consignment platform uh, with more than 20 sellers and uh, Virtu Toys is actually one of them in there and uh, I manage, uh, currently actually I'm hired to manage their social media okay, so this would be the Fair Lady Z now this is actually um, I think this casting really caught quite a lot of collectors by surprise it is actually quite nice um, of course Kaido House uh, Juni Mai's team has mentioned uh, before that these are not exactly true 64 scale um, yeah they are not exactly true 64 scale so you may see some uh, bigger than the other so you, yeah it's not it's not a true 64 scale uh, replica all right but uh, I don't exactly mind it. It's just that if you want to pack it together, you want to take photos, you know, you have to be a little bit more um, smart in, you know, the bigger one, maybe you pack it further behind, the smaller one, you pack it further in front. Okay, but look at that. Matt Gray. Okay, <laughs> Matt Gray with red seats and uh, black dash and some gray uh, detail at the back, the silver. Uh, roll cage detail as well. The color combination on this thing is pretty crazy. Yokohama Van tire bomb. Okay, on the tire walls, printed. Dip dish at the back. Ver very deep dish at the back. Dip dish in front. Okay, and then uh, what else? Side mirrors seems to be fine this time around. In one of my previous video, I cannot remember which variant is it. I think the chase version of the fair lady. One of the side mirror just dropped off. Uh, nice. This is actually pretty nice. This is actually a very very nice casting. Look at that. The tail lights, indicator lights, reverse lights, number plate done very nicely. Okay, let me see if I can pop it off without any tools with me. So this is one of the uh the casting where it's a little bit harder to okay I got a little bit of my nails this time around. A little bit busy so I haven't got I haven't got my nails done yet. Oh gotta get it done in this couple of days. Here we go engine details in there so some yeah if you can't if you can't dig it out from like that right you have to find something to poke it up okay and uh it's not difficult to actually remove this piece but uh yeah i'm not not gonna do that do that okay very nice engine details in there okay look at that look at that the overall shape of this thing man um i believe it's a 280z if i'm not mistaken nice very very nice okay so this is the regular this is the regular version um let's go for the chase version as well packaging wise they are basically exactly the same okay you know what i didn't show you the packaging right i just went straight for it so again um new design number 23 no uh sign of the car on the box all right uh underneath is basically pretty straightforward okay so the packaging it's a new design okay more i think um i think this is more than what it used to be i don't remember having so many kaido house mini gt logos on the inner side of the box okay so here we go this is the chase version um again the most obvious detail would be the 
gold rims and uh, I haven't got a chance to actually compare them side by side this is the first time I'm putting them down I'm putting them next to each other so interior wise I think they're exactly the same very identical uh, paint job wise they are identical as well but you do see a different shade of matte grey on the hood yeah it's kind of like yeah this one looks better the chase version has the different shade of grey I guess um, usually I don't well I don't think this is done on purpose um, you know that there, there is bound to be you know if they use different batch of paint I guess there is bound to have this kind of variant right which I guess is normal okay so um, I, yeah I'm gonna say pretty much exactly the same okay interior is exactly the same tail lights exactly the same decals color exactly the same let's see if I can get the engine cover up with my <laughs> with my nails this time no yeah I think it's a little bit stuck this time it's quite tight so oh okay I'll see I'll try to grab my screwdriver uh, and, and open this up oh. ah, okay got it got it got it got it got it so it does look it does look like it's exactly the same yep yeah but this one the chase version of mine oh very loose okay it's back down oh hang on hang on uh, okay so it's really very loose i think this one is the one where yeah you can just take it up quite easily hey no i'm wrong i can't actually remove it i thought i can no i can't can't exactly remove it this time i remember the previous one came off not too difficult okay probably they improved some some sort of design in there right so only difference for chase would be the rims okay very very nice combination again gray with uh gold okay so that's the fair lady z and uh next would be the figures Let's get it out of the way. Okay. If you haven't done so, help me to hit the like button, okay? Because that will help me out with the YouTube algorithms. So it comes with double-sided tape. Okay. I'm just going to put it in there. I'm more used to using tags. Okay. Pretty decent detail, actually. Pretty decent detail. For its price. Oh, look at that. With his goatee and all goatee and his uh, shoes okay pretty decent that's pretty decent there's a bit of weight to it as well uh, being die cast that's cool so it stands quite easily that's nice okay I didn't have to do much adjustment and uh, it stands really so this is the second figure again with the goatee and the eyebrow details that's actually quite nice I'm quite impressed actually being able to do this kind of details on a die cast because i guess the only other die cast uh figure company that i know would be american Dharma, and i don't think they are as refined as these um they're a little bit more rough so very nice very nicely done by mini gt so these are these two will be the kits okay both with the cap but uh, this one has a bit of paint chip up here, unfortunately. Okay, nice. Not bad, not bad. Not bad for diecast figures. Yeah, and see, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed that they can stand freely like that. This is actually quite impressive. Okay, so that's the figure set. I think it's quite worth to get. Uh, again, the price is not too crazy. So you get, you get a pack of four and... Uh, yeah, I think it's quite nice to have. Um, so this will be the first uh, accessory set. I know that there will be the tent set as well, the one with the flag. So that is, that is another accessory set that I'll be looking forward to. 
All right, uh, moving on to Mini GT. Now, this is something that I've been looking forward to as well, the uh, BMW M4 GT3. Okay, let's go straight to it. I do have the other <laughs> M4 GT3s uh, somewhere around here. <sighs> just before the start of this video, then, then you know, I just recalled, hey, um, yeah, I, I do have them out somewhere. It's not in storage. <laughs> But I just forgot to put it here on my on my um, review table, so I guess I'm probably gonna skip it. Uh, I have done reviews on, on those other ones as, uh, already, so you can actually check out my previous videos. All right, so this would be uh, released. This would be the third GD3, right? The purple color version, and then there is the uh, the liquid Molly version. Um, what else? Yeah, I think there's only two so far. So this would be this would be the third release, the presentation version. Okay, number three four seven. So basically now they are going well into four hundred, even five hundred already. Yeah, see, there's already five zero seven, and uh, this is actually quite far behind three four seven. Probably licensing and um, I don't think it's licensed. I because since. I guess most of them, most of the brands here, probably Mini GT has got a green light already, probably. So most of the time, usually it's the challenges with a decal and, and local placement and stuff like that. Since uh, this casting is already out. Okay, so this is one of the other casting that I will be collecting. Ooh, okay. They have the fog lamp out. I don't remember the liquid moly head has this out. I do remember the that purple color version oh sorry i need to put the figures aside i do remember the 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 purple color version that um st racing right yeah this is st racing that has the cover actually the lights covered so i do have it at the back here hang on let me just get a couple of cars out for you to see okay here we go there See, it's covered. Okay, it's covered. All right, nice, right? This is definitely, definitely must have for me. Okay, very nice. So this one uncovered with the headlamp details down here. Nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, this is the M4 GD3 and then the M4 Competition. Competition. Okay, San Paolo Yellow, number 468. Okay, now, uh, I'm, I think, I think this is actually another new casting. I thought that it's similar to another casting before this. This is, this could be a new casting. Yeah, I'm looking at the box for the other one. That one is actually a BMW M4 M Performance in Alpine White. And this is, this is this is not M performance. This is the M performance version that I'll talk about. All right, I've already done a review on this one, I believe. Okay, so that's the the what do you call it? What's my M performance? Okay, that's M performance. So this one is probably the regular version, the competition version. So first thing you can see is it doesn't come with that GT wing at the back. So is this a new casting? So what I understand right is uh, some manufacturers are able to do um, very little they're able to do small little uh, variant to the casting actually now. Um, the most obvious one actually is uh, Eno. Eno cars we can see small variants in uh, some of their castings and right now we're seeing it with Mini GT as well. So. It does look like the I think the first one that I noticed would be the 7 series and the B7. So this would be the other one. So from the front, see it does look very similar. The grills are similar. The grill shape is similar, okay? The details may be different a little bit here and there. Down here, this grill down here is different, the detail. Okay, headlamps is the same, uh, position of the logo is the same, the hood nostril here is the same. Okay, the carnet. Well, this carnet is yep. There is actually not. It's not just printed on, but there is a bump to it. Okay, so this one doesn't have that. 
Alright, if we go to the side, if we go to the side, you can see the fender details here. It's the same as well. Petrol filler cap, that's the same. Yeah, probably from the same production line. Okay, BMW M4. Okay, what's that? Yeah, mine does look like it's dropped on the floor. <laughs> what's that? Uh, no, I can't rub it off. Okay. Twin pipes, left and right. Okay, the diffuser detail is different. That is uh, part of the base. Okay, so the M spec has much more centered uh, four pipes, quad pipes. Okay. Yeah, probably I'll call this a street version on my left. I'm just checking out more details to it. Does look pretty similar, right? So probably from the same production line, with a bit of a variant. Same set of rims. Can I zoom out? Yep, it's the same set of rims. Yes, same set of rims in black. Okay, all right. So that's the M4. Okay, probably another custom that I'll be collecting. Then we go to the Targa 4S, the heritage design in the GT silver metallic. It's not just silver, it's a GT, it's a silver, and it's metallic. Okay, number 5507. Okay. Anyone else is collecting this as well? So, third variant for the Targa, second variant for the heritage uh, series. I've got I've got to go and read up on the heritage uh, design. Actually, I haven't I haven't read up. Well, what's the heritage design all about? Fifty years of Porsche, I think. Is it? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's just fifty years of Porsche, right? Okay, we do know if you have links to the story, let me know in the comment section below. Cool. Right. So first, I'll, I would apologize uh, for not doing my proper homework before these videos. <laughs> I uh, want to quickly show, basically uh, do a quick product review first uh, and then when I can, I'll try to do a proper uh, individual uh, video. For example, the M4. The M4, this one, this guy, I might do a video by itself. Okay, Targa. Nice, very nice details inside. Actually, you can see the center, center console, the gear lever area, the handbrakes. That's a handbrake, right? Is that a handbrake? No, that's not a handbrake. The steering wheel, there's an emblem on the steering wheel as well. Is that a touchscreen detail? Does look like it. Nice. Very nice to see all these interior details uh, Mini GT is doing now. Uh, most obvious ones will be on the Zondas. Very nice interior. With a cream interior and then you see all those de details on the dash. It's nice. Right, so very nice silver as well. Okay, cool. Nice. Porsche and then 911 Targa 4S. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so that's the Targa. And then we'll go to the Defender 90 pickup in bronze green. This is the other one where interesting color. I don't recall any other Mini GT with this color. Bronze green. Okay, remember to hit the like button so because that will help me out with the YouTube algorithms. Okay, hit the subscribe button as well so that I don't miss on any of my other diecast videos. And uh, for Mini GT right now, this is my current plan. Whenever there's any new arrivals, right, I will do one batch of update of all of their arrivals. Ha. Ah, okay. Now, yeah, with with this in my hands, then I kind of understand why it's called bronze green because from photos, right. It, it looks like it's dark blue. It kind of makes kind of makes sense now. Okay, hang on. Let me just put all the boxes at the back. Bronze green and oh, removable roof. Okay, it's no longer fixed. That's nice. That's nice. It has some proper groove so that it it sits in place. It doesn't fall off easily. Nice. Nice. Green. Yeah, it's more green than bronze. It does look a little bit like it's uh, 
uh, British Mason Green. It does look like it. Nice. Oh, look at that. Nice detail. Side mirror, separate piece as usual. What does it say there? Defender 90. Okay. The patrol filler detail. Okay, there's a tow hook at the back. Okay, we'll go to the back. Look at that. These details are all printed, I assume. I don't think they're painted. I think they're printed. It's very nice. Defender 90 at the back. Fog lamps, tag tail lights, rever uh, reverse lights. All done nicely. Very nice. Very nice. So, die cast body, plastic cover at the back. Okay. Does it? I'm wondering, does it work both ways? Because it's slightly different. So, no, it doesn't work both ways. Nice, cool. All right, so uh, yep, I've covered basically all of the uh new re new releases from Kaido House and also from Mini GT. Um, I do have a couple of extras of these that are available through collectors uh, coldcube.com or check out their Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok for more um diecast content right so hit the subscribe button hit the bell so that you don't miss on any of my other diecast videos thank you so much for watching guys take care bye